welcome to City Skylines. This is Jackson Hall, Wyoming, and I'm your humble host, Christopher Tarantola. And I have done uh, a couple hours of tweaking off screen. So I think the first thing you can notice is now I have this road coming straight through, and it truly does, um, it really connects to this existing road, and so this. That used to go straight into this, and now it turns and goes straight into that. So Oscar Avenue has been extended, and it goes all the way here and all the way there, and all the way back to over here is still Oscar Avenue. So it basically comes around and around and around and to there. I guess technically this is still considered Oscar Avenue, so it actually comes all the way to here, though this road will not continue to be Oscar Avenue. Another thing you might notice is we have a bit of a log jam of uh, trams. Um, yeah, so we have all these trams here. I think we need to maybe reduce the number or something, um, but. Um, what is the hold up? I think I just have too many. So we'll need to manage that in this episode, but I've obviously, I've added a tram line that goes all the way around, up, and back to here, and then it comes back here. And so that is another addition. I've also added some bus lines. Um, so I made this change here at the airport so that um, the buses, you know, they're, they're lining up. There's too many of them. Uh, there's just too much demand. Well, honestly, I need to probably start to add a metro or something like that. But, um, you know, I, I need to manage my my public transportation. It's clearly not sufficient to for all the people that are wanting to travel on it. But that being said... Um, this is still working. It's functional because uh, the cars can go right by all those buses, stop, do its thing, and then move on. Um, and these pedestrians can just come here and go back very easily. Um, also have the buses stopping here at this train station. This train station is being well used. Um, and we also have this train station over here, which is the next one. And it is also being well used. And, uh, yeah, so this is fully grown in since the last time we, we spoke, though you've seen that. Um, you, you ought to have seen that. And uh, what else do we do? I think, I, I think off screen I've added these two uh, roads here just to provide some connectivity. Um, I also connected this little town here uh, with this little road here, so that is being used uh, somewhat, and that just helps, again, with connectivity. Another major thing that I did is, um, starting from about right here, I redid the freeway. So these are now three wide to, to right there, and then they go to two wide. And since they're 2-1, I just stuck them in and have them going on a national highway here. And then, if you remember, this used to be uh, uh, an avenue like this. And the avenue came up and just did the turn and it went to about right there. So I replaced that avenue with the freeway. Uh, the old freeway used to come uh, right about here. And it did a number where it came like this and over to here and by moving that freeway over to here it opens all this up for development uh, which I think is going to be much uh, better um, later down the road now I still got this funky curve here and I'll probably address that much later down the road you know I could just stick this going like this and um, that probably would have been the more ideal way, but 
you know what, I don't mind this in the sense that it does create memory. And sometimes having that memory and having these odd things, that's what gives your city character. So on some level, I don't mind uh, that it's like that. Um, you know, just like you have this really wicked curve here, um, you normally wouldn't want to plan a freeway with that wicked curve, but it's having to go under this uh, railroad here, and so you're just basically having to slow down to make the turn. Um, but in any case, you know, I, I really did a lot of just little itty bitty things. I, I, I can't even tell you all the little things. Okay, I reworked some of the bus lines, um, things like that, so that things just are working better. I added a couple of things to this um, uh, Grand Teton National Park, and that allowed it to get to the next level, and it's also just being used more, and it's making a little bit more money, uh, generally speaking. Um, obviously, we have moved all of our agriculture from there to here, and I did some tweaking over here as well where um, I now have the roads coming in this way and going counterclockwise rather than, uh, I'm sorry, clockwise rather than counterclockwise. Before they were coming in counterclockwise and it was creating a, an issue but as you can see here now they can turn in and to come back out without having to cross the pass there and uh, the streams as you will from Ghostbusters and that allows it to just work far better. Um, I also, I made that a, a basically an on-ramp, uh, and then I just have it right here as an alley. Uh, so that's all single lane, that also I think just works just better. It looks nicer, it's less obtrusive, and so yeah, we have that. And I also, if, as you notice, I just connected it to this off-ramp. Um, so that they, they combine to one and the same instead of having um, it used to connect up to about right here and it created an extra intersection that was just uh, superfluous and unnecessary so um, this is just going to be much more or it is much more efficient as you can see I mean there's just there's no problems here we also still have this one working and it's also going basically uh, counterclockwise. Um, that one's going clockwise, but it's coming from the back. So it's coming this way. So we're still coming from the correct side to make that work, but we're going counterclockwise because the road's on this side and not that side. Really, it was over there. And anyway, and so that's all nice, working well and nice. I moved some barns around because I had like three barns here, and I've spread them out as evenly as I can because um, you have all the barns in one place. Um, this is a, a major tip, guys. You have all your barns in one place or your storage what, for whichever industry you have. Um, but particularly for the farming, um, you tend to get so much traffic that it just bogs down. And so spreading this out, it spreads out the distribution of your traffic over the entire road grid. That way, you're not getting too much traffic. Nothing's getting bogged down too much. Okay, now, um, I think that is, that's about it, that's a, that's a, um, I think everything that I did while y'all were away, so to speak, or what I did off screen, and so from here, I'm going to choose to do, um, so I'm, I'm going to expand this area here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and expand this area here. Um, so I kind of had already, I, I've already started with this one road. And I have it done such that this road can continue straight on and come around this way or go straight that way or however we want to do it. So that uh, I'm thinking about the future development here. Um, putting this free, or uh, this freeway, putting this, these airports right here really does um, make you make me have to think about things because now I'm having to really like go around it and not just uh, have my city continue in one continuous grid. Um, I rather like that because I think it's going to have uh, really strong connectivity. Um, 
The other thing that I need to really think about here is I need to have uh, some, maybe some better connection to the freeway, uh, particularly for later on down the road. Um, but for the moment, I think this works well because they can just come right up here and then get right onto the freeway going that way, coming up here and then getting on, or they can turn right and get right on uh, either way. Um, and this is still a one-way road. Um, so this is a one-way road going that way. This is also a one-way, uh, I'm sorry, this got reversed, so now it's, this is a one-way road going the other way. And then that has become a two-lane, or two-way road. And then obviously that's a two-way road. So though, that has changed as well. Okay, so, pleh. Now that we have the summary, let's go ahead and get started on expanding this. So, you know, I, I'm i gonna leave this, this uh, buffer area um, you know, when you're at the freeway level, um, it looks a lot better having all these trees than, than having everything butt up right to the freeway here. Um, not only that, but, uh, I think it's just such a hard thing to try and utilize the space, the space, I mean, I'll never really utilize this space without crossing those tracks, and crossing those tracks is going to create so much traffic for both the trains and the cars that I don't think it's worth it. Um, even over here, it's just kind of difficult to get up into those spaces. You know, I could probably do some more here, and I probably will, so I'll probably start to do more here. Um, I'll leave that space alone, and, you know, starting here, we'll kind of do our thing and start filling things in that way and this will be pretty close to the freeway here so it'll really start to to mesh with the freeway a lot more i might work on that intersection a little bit later because it's a bit funky with the way i have this it always has been but besides that um i think the the use of this this used to be where the farm farming was happening it's going to be just a lot different, and so um, I might rework it just because of that. I don't know if I want to make a feeder road where I have one way going this way and another one way going that way, and then you have your on-off ramps are going to basically start to change where they are because instead of having the off ramp here, you'd have the off ramp like right here, and you'd have an on ramp right before you got to the road and then another off ramp back to an on-ramp. Um, I don't know if I want to do that or not. Certainly not yet, so I'm going to leave it as is for now. But um, let's think about, uh, you know, we got plenty of demand for both co commercial and residential. Um, not too much for industry, and that's okay. Um, so we're going to leave that be for now. And I got the this nice big avenue here. Um, I'm wondering if I want to have like a nice avenue that comes and dips down along the coast just like I have it here or if I want to kind of leave that to be more residential I don't know so let me think about that this is gonna be so I want this to kind of be really high density so that's something I got to think about I need to have a bit uh, more rigid of a a structure um, so I really need to think about my super blocks here and um, I really need to think about my road hiker hierarchy you know here my road grids have been pretty simplistic okay um, so you got your your main thoroughfares here and then you got your little uh, interior roads here and that's about it so you got your main art arteries here um, this is maybe a secondary artery and then you got your little interior roads and that's about it nothing in between so here I'll probably have at least three levels so I'll have my primary roads that will kind of go around the border and then I'll need some good uh, secondary roads to, to really get people around and then some tertiary roads in between and it'll be a nice rigid grid except for where it starts to go along the coast here now I don't know I could maybe do a bit more of a curved grid that 
haven't really done a very good job of it, but I could, I could do that. So I think I might, um, I think I might just stick to the rigid grid for now. Um, if I'm gonna do a curvy thing, it's probably gonna happen over here, um, later down the road. So there's that. Okay, let's get started. So let's um this four lane road it's really simple nothing crazy and we want to go straight as much as we can because remember we're these are basically our primary roads for our grid and at some point you just gotta curve it because of the way the coast is but um, the way I'm gonna do that is make it to where you have just the one curve it's not not curving and really following the coast it's just generally following the coast. I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to continue up that. That I think would be a bit odd. And uh, the same thing here. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that in. And I wonder if I want to keep that going straight with that to there. I think I would, but I would just reduce it down to be uh, this kind of road here. So it will continue straight, but it doesn't need to be um, the two-lane road. I think it'll be used less. Okay, and then we want to go back to our medium roads, and we want to just have a nice gentle curve to it. We use our guidelines here. Actually, we could probably just do that, and then we'll we'll finagle it a little bit with the Move It mod, which you know, of course, is one of my favorites. Okay, let's see if we can get this looking good. I think it's starting to look good. There we go. Nice and good. Okay. And uh, I think that's our major super block. So let's do our secondary roads. And our secondary roads, um, I think, ought to be something like this or like that. Uh, we can maybe do with some more avenues, actually. Um, so I'm gonna actually I'm gonna keep doing avenues uh, here and here. Maybe move over to here. Like that. And maybe one more going right down the center here. Okay. And then we'll go and we'll do this as our primary, our, our secondaries, and then we'll have the tertiaries later. Now, these are probably really be let's see, if I do this one with trees, does it have parking? Of course, traffic can increase this land more. I don't know that you can park on that. I want to be able to park. Which is why I like using this. But, um, something to think about we got a two-lane road with a buffered bike lane uh, I guess I'll use this one I guess this could be our, our secondary here maybe at least that with a turn lane if not actually this you could kind of use that one as a turn lane one is going straight and then you reverse it as you approach the next thing. I think I'm actually going to do that, so. I'll show you what I mean in a second here, as I do it. So, this is just, I'm just going to do it right in the middle here. And this, this little triangle will be separate. Um, but, yeah. But just like this. Now, we need to 
delete that little extra. So just a little extra there. There it is. That's a little extra we need to delete it so that it will look better. There we go. All right. Now, going back to this uh, asymmetric. So basically what we're doing is here we want to reverse it. And so that is going to be straight, and then this will be a turn lane. And we want to reverse that, so this will be straight and a turn lane. And, um, you know, you got this in between here. And the in between, maybe you have be one of those. Like that. I don't know, you could just have it like this. I think that'll be easier. And now, so that's just what I'm going to do. Ultimately, I think it makes more sense. And then we could just go to something simple like this for this last little bit. Let's see if I can get that just a little. Well, nope. Just screwed the whole thing up, didn't I? Oh well. Look at that, and then have this. And that'll work. All right, all right. Now go back to this one. We'll continue with our secondary. I want to stick with the 90. Hmm. We'll leave it at that. I think that's fine. We'll have it one that's here just down the middle there and here it's gonna go down the middle there now that's not quite straight so let's fix that because it ought to be able to line up there you go make sure this is all straight as well. See, that's straight. Okay, and then we'll do one that's right in the middle here. Okay, and then we'll use these as our tertiary. And they can kind of go like this. That's almost too small to really do something like that. But doing this, we're kind of going to kill our major avenues with a thousand little cuts here. But um, I think such is life for this particular one. Red so badly.
Okay. Let's make that just a straight. There we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and upgrade this to have a. There we go. Yeah, that got deleted, and I think that uh, we'll have to redo that. Now, we want to make sure we have all the over-the-freeway connections. I don't know if we want to actually add some since we have these two. You know, obviously, I'm not going to do that because it can't really go into that train very well. But um, and I don't think we need to do this one because we have that one. So that'll just be the way it is. I'm not going to change that at all. We also have that connection there. So, the next thing is, how do we do it up along the freeway? Um, the road come out this way and curve around and just kind of follow the curve. And then we can just extend these out to it. So, let's turn those guidelines off. They're not helping me. What I'm doing here is I, I don't, I, I want it to be nice and straight on that grid. And then this will be the curve part. So I'm pressing Alt and then moving so that way it snaps it. Uh, and then we can go back to here and just make it nice and straight. And there we go. Do one there too. straight through so that really changes the calculus on what I want to do here though you don't want it to be so close to each other but what we can do is just kind of turn it in like that and this guy can also come around like this and connect do a connection like this maybe like that there you go and uh, let's do a nice little curve here go and then we can even just do something straight off of here and really have a rigid grid still and that'll 
I'll definitely connect to right there. There you go. I'm liking that. Cool beans. And I always find it fun when you have a changing grid and you're able to connect it up. Now, I almost want to just delete that. I think that looks a little bit better actually. And uh, maybe we can add a little road right there. So there's our grid. Got that figured out. And um, you probably want to go ahead and do this other side as well. Um, and go from there. But alas, we will do that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.